Thanks for taking the time, Sam. And if you're ready, we can go ahead and start with questions. Uh, the floor is open if anyone else starts off. Sam, hey, I, Sam. I'll start you out. Um, what does it mean to you to be back in the starting lineup? And, and what do you think you can show in this in this next game and possibly the last two? Yeah, you know, for me, it's, uh, you know, just another opportunity to, to go out there and play good football. Um, that's really all I'm focused on is making sure that, you know, I'm doing my job at the highest level and uh, nothing more, nothing less than that. Right, let's go to Joe Person, followed by Will Kunkel. Hey, Sam, good to see you. Wondering what it's been like with PJ going on the COVID list, what precautions you guys are taking, and if you're taking any personally beyond what the team's doing. No, I mean, I'm just, you know, making sure that I'm extra careful, you know, in the building, make sure and making sure I'm wearing a mask, um, doing all the things that, you know, the league's asking us to do. So, um, you know, making sure that, you know, we're staying safe. You know, I know a lot of guys have um, families that they go back to um, after work. So, you know, thinking about those people during these times and just just trying to keep everyone safe. Hey, Sam, I wanted to follow up real quick, too. Just wonder what these last couple of weeks have been like with you and Cam as you've gotten to know him. Did you know him at all before? And what have you taken from him these past couple of weeks? Yeah, I didn't know Cam before. Um, no guys that I've worked with Cam said that he was a great dude. And, um, you know, that's proven to be true. You know, Cam's a – he's a great guy, ultimate competitor, um, ultimate professional. I mean, the way that he works, um, you know, I've learned so much from him since he's um, come on and, and, you know, been with us this year. So, um, yeah, I mean, Cam's the, the ultimate professional, ultimate competitor, but, I mean – more than anything, I mean, he's just a, he's a great dude. So, um, yeah. Hey, Sam, I got two for you. First of all, how much did Colin pay you to wear that hat? Oh, I didn't even realize I was wearing it. <laughs> yeah, this is thanks for pointing that out. This is not for long media. Um, Colin Thompson's podcast. So um, if you guys ever, you know, get a chance to check it out, um, that'd be great. Nice plug. Uh, I've done my job. Also, what uh, conversations did you have with Cam when you get named starter? Is that an awkward conversation or does he kind of break the ice and say something? What's that like? No, I mean, you know, we understand kind of the, the business, uh, you know, that we're in. Um, you know, it just kind of is what it is. And, um, you know, we're both very professional and, and we understand, uh, you know, we just understand, you know, the business. So um, with that being said, me and Cam are, um, you know, we're cool with each other and um, leave it at that. All right, let's go to Jonathan Alexander followed by Will Palachi. Hey, Sam, hope all is well. Um, I'm sure you had a lot of time to reflect, you know, when you were out. So I'm curious, what is probably one of the biggest things you kind of took from your time off um, when you were away? Yeah, Jonathan, that's a that's a great question. I mean, you know, I've unfortunately, you know, my last three years in New York, I was I had spans where I was hurt as well. Um, but I think this la this last one was definitely the longest that I've been out. So, um, you know, with the new IR rule that uh, you know uh, went into place last year, um, you know, just being on IR and, and kind of getting to um, experience things from from that angle and, and kind of see things from afar um, you know it's just it kind of gives you a for me at least I got a, a much um, I just got an appreciation for the game um, you know you, you, it was it was kind of a cliche of you don't realize what you have until it's gone um, you know it's just when you're out it, it sucks you know to, to be able to watch us play football and not you know be able to have anything to do with um, wins or losses, you know, obviously, you know, I can help in the building during the week. I'm not saying that, but um, to not be out there on the field with my brothers, um, that's something that, you know, I missed a ton um, when I was out. And um, but again, you know, something that I learned from, you know, just being around and, and getting to experience, um, you know, Cam and the way that he 
um, kind of led in, in the way that he went about preparing um, during the week to get ready for Sunday, mentally, physically, emotionally. Um, you know, he's one of the best I've ever seen. So, um, you know, it's, I think I learned a lot from him as well. If I could just ask real quick, anything about your game and what you felt like, you know, this was working when I was good. And, you know, this wasn't when I wasn't. Yeah, I think just, um, you know, the my feet, you know, I've always noticed, you know, if, if my feet are choppy or sped up, you know, um, that's when I'm indecisive and, um, you know, can, can make bad decisions. And I think when my feet are calm and, you know, I feel comfortable in the pocket, you know, that's something that, you know, I'm, I feel like I'm a really good quarterback when I do that. So I just got to continue to, to um, continue to work on that during practice and uh, get better that way. Kind of dovetailing off that, Sam, uh, Matt talked about how much that first New Orleans game was your best game. How much of that do you go back and look at and say, OK, you know, this particular thing worked and, and how much of that is do you use as a reference point? Um, you know, during that time when I was hurt, I looked at a lot of, you know, all the games that I played. Um, you know, I looked at the good. I looked at the the ugly. Um, so yeah, I learned I learned a lot from from watching that tape. And again, I think it, it, a lot of it stems from the feet. And um, if I can just you know be comfortable and, and get you know good calm feet in the pocket, um, I feel like I'll be good. Do you feel like you've made progress this year? And if so, what areas? Yeah, I mean, I haven't I haven't really. Uh, you know, looked at, you know, the, the year as a whole. I kind of do that at the end of the season. Um, this week I'm obviously super focused on New Orleans, um, so I haven't um, – and I didn't, I didn't do that um, when I was hurt because I was playing last week. So, um, you know, I don't, I don't really have a great answer, to be honest for you, um, but I'll let you know at the end of the season. All right, let's go to David Newton, followed by Joe Finish up with Darren Gant. Hey, Sam, good to see you back. I uh, wanted to ask you, how important do you feel like these next two games are for you um, as you approach the 2020 season, where right now you're the only guy on, under contract? Yeah, for me, I'm, I'm really focused on this week, to be completely honest with you. I'm, I'm focused on New Orleans and, and focusing on, on what we can do to win this ball game coming up on Sunday. See any? I mean, but do you understand the importance of for if you don't do well that what that could mean for the off season and everything for the Panthers and you? Sure. Yeah, I think you know if if I look um, if I look past this game at all, I would be doing this team and myself a disservice by um, you know looking too far into the future. I don't want to do that. I want to you know put my best foot forward for this team um, so that we can go out there and win on Sunday. Um, if I start to worry about, you know, what these next couple games mean and uh, the implications for next year, then, you know, that that does nothing for me uh, on Sunday. Right. Appreciate it. Go ahead, Darren. All right. Sam, you mentioned the footwork, but did you, as you think about kind of the first four games of the year versus the next five, were you shaken from a confidence standpoint during that middle section of the season when things weren't going well? No, I, I would never say that I'm, you know, shaken in terms of my confidence. I just think, um, you know, some things just didn't go our way during those ball games. Um, you know, that's that's really all it was. How hey, difficult Sam. was that when when those when that was impacted by so many external things, whether it was Christian going out or the protection, that kind of stuff? How hard is it when it's not just necessarily you? No, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, those games, you know, I, I just didn't play good enough football to win. I think that was um, my biggest takeaway. Um, so, yeah, there, there's nothing really else to say besides me not playing good enough. Hey, Sam, hopefully I don't cut out here, but 
Christian a couple weeks ago really praised you for pl- playing through a lot more than people knew. We hit you took in Atlanta to your head and your shoulder. Do you have any regrets that you you know kind of tried to play through that the next week against the Patriots? No, no, I don't. I don't regret anything. You know, I felt like during the week I was you know healthy enough to go out there and play, and you know I did that. And, you know, I don't have any regrets about it. All right. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, guys.